Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. So loves, Freya did it again. <laughs> I was vacuuming underneath uh, the table here, like cleaning up the office, and Freya got caught in all the wires and down went my camera. <laughs> so um, the the camera works, but it's the swivel part that always seems to kind of break. So it's hanging low right now. I can't get it to stay up. So this is what we're going to be working with for the next few days until the stand gets here. I know this happened the last time and I kind of kept it this way because honestly, I like it more when you guys see just the cards versus me, but I know you guys like seeing me too. If you happen to like it this way, let me know in the comments. You know, I don't know. I just feel readings should be more about you guys connecting with the cards, but it's totally up to you guys. Um, but I did order another one just in case you guys want to go back to the way it was. Um, what else do I want to tell you? So guys, personal readings, I just want to go into that real quick. Um, I'm only open for emergency readings right now. The reason why is because I get too overwhelmed with um, all the readings that come in. So I'm doing personal readings and I have opened up phone readings. So I did put a phone number below for you to text me. If I'm available that day, I will take your reading, okay? Um, so you can go ahead and text me. It is $75 for 20 minutes on a phone reading and you could ask as many questions as you want, okay? All right, so moving on, um, I already took too long with the intro, so long story short, I have a Virgo Leo channel, my main channel, Tarot of Light. You could check it out, the links are below. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I give away um, uh, two emergency readings every month, so hashtag reading if you would like to enter a chance to win. Um, and let's get popping, guys, because I took too long with the intro. We just had some changes. Everything's a little upside down right now but we shall overcome. <clears throat> what are we grateful for today, my loves? I'm grateful for my YouTube family, my cancer babies. I'm grateful for my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I'm grateful that my puppies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well and making me crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm sorry this is a little late, but I didn't know what I should do with the camera situation, but here we are. Okay, better late than never, right? All right, let's get poppin'. Spirit, tell me about my Cancer babies, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, shit, Cancer. Okay, all right, so we've got soulmate and proposal, so that's beautiful, okay? So your person is definitely feeling a strong soul tie connection with you here, Cancer. I feel like this person's ready to make you a love offer or maybe even they're thinking about proposing marriage. Now, a choice is coming in for your person. This is somebody that your person used to hook up with a while ago, but it was casual. It was casual. It could be that this person maybe is now coming towards your person offering a relationship. It could be that, you know, this person that is coming towards your person was in a relationship way back when, and all they did was hook up or have casual sex, and now this person's single, and they're coming towards your person saying, listen, <clears throat> I can do a relationship now, I'm single, you know? So your person has a big decision that they need to make here, Cancer. Let's see what we have. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please. Page of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Tell me about Cancer, please. The High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. Tell me about Cancer, please. The Hermit. We could be dealing with a Virgo. We could be dealing with a Pisces. We could be dealing with an Aries. So we've got the Hermit, the Fool card, and the Five of Wands with the Three of Cups. So Cancer, here's the thing. This message is coming towards your person. And what this person is telling your person is it didn't work out between me and so-and-so. Now, I feel, Cancer, that your person 
I'm getting two things out of the high priestess and the queen of cups. First thing I'm getting is that this person had, your person had already been planning to propose to you. Your person is very serious about this relationship with you. But another thing that I'm getting is that they're also keeping this person hitting them up a secret. I feel like with the hermit, the fool here, your person is really analyzing this situation on what direction they want to go in. I feel like what your person is thinking about here is, you know what, this is someone that I've known for a long time, but I've also known them to be um, someone who sits in fool energy. Like this is somebody that, you know, um, because I feel like this person that is hitting up your person used to cheat with your person so your person is kind of sitting in an energy of well if they'll cheat you know with you they'll cheat on you like is this really someone that i want to be committed to with the five of wands and the three of cups I feel like your person is not telling you about this person, but they're, they might also not be telling this person about you, Cancer. So this five of wands and this three of cups could be that, you know, this third party is fighting, wanting to connect with your person, or I feel more so. Guys, there's my neighbors are doing work on their house and Freya gets bugged out and she barks. So if you hear some noise, I'm sorry. But... I feel like what your person is thinking here is, you know, if I leave cancer and go towards this person who, yeah, I mean, we had fun and everything, but am I the one that's going to be looking stupid and fighting? I'm always going to be thinking that this person is cheating. Do you see what I'm saying, cancer? Like this is someone that knows that like this is an individual that cheats. So it's like, okay, so now if I'm the main person Will I constantly be in my head thinking that they're cheating on me because they were so quick to cheat on their other person, you know? Tell me about the Page of Pentacles here. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Ten of Wands in the reverse. And the Six of Wands. So, Cancer, I feel like this individual that's coming towards your person is telling your person, I let a situation go. I let a situation go. It's not working between me and so-and-so. Now, with the Six of Wands, this is somebody that wants attention from your person. They want a new beginning in love with your person. Like, they want a relationship with your person. But what I'm really feeling from this third party is more so that they want to try to, you know, when you leave a relationship and you want to get into another relationship quickly to clap back at your person, I feel like this is a little bit more of a revenge thing on this individual's part. So I feel like they're coming towards your person because they just want to be in a relationship quickly to kind of spite, you know, whoever they were with before. Are you following me? What, what I'm saying with that? Tell me about the High Priestess and the Sun card with the Queen of Wands, King to the Queen of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. So, Cancer, I feel like your person is coming into an energy where they're considering telling this Queen of Wands, listen, I'm in a very happy relationship. We've got the King to the Queen of Cups with the Ten of Cups, Cancer. So your person is very happy with you. Your, your person sees you guys as a true pair. Your person sees you guys as someone that they want to be with long term. Now, Cancer, if this isn't resonating in the moment, this could be someone that's coming into your life, you know? Tell me about the hermit. The Queen of Swords. I'm going to... Okay, Queen of Swords. We've got the Emperor, the Hanged Man, and the Moon. Okay. So you know what this person is thinking about, Cancer? They're thinking about all the times that they hooked up with this person. And let's say they were laying in bed. And this person would turn around because the Emperor would call or text. Now, the Emperor, I'm feeling, is the third party's partner at the time. Okay, and how this this emperor energy was left on red or shit was happening behind this emperor's back. And your person's like, do I want that to be me? 
do I do I want to be this poor guy right here that you know has no idea that they're texting their person and their person is over here in bed with me is that what I want to look like you know is, is that really what I want for my life <clears throat> tell me about the full card and the Knight of Swords, yeah. This third party that is contacting your person is very quick, very hasty. They do things in the moment. They don't consider other people's feelings. And I feel like your person is like, I don't think that's what I would want. You know, because what's happening here is cancer. It's like your person knows they want you. They know they love you, but another option has presented itself. So I feel like your person is just analyzing both options and figure out figuring out what's best for them you know I, I feel like your person is just not viewing this third party as wifey or hubby material tell me about this five of wands and the three of cups yes yeah, see the chariot in the reverse your person is sitting in an energy of i don't think i want to live like that i don't want to constantly be living in fear and insecurity that you know my person is talking with someone else or sleeping with someone else you know because your person saw what this person looks like, what they're capable of behind that emperor's back, you know? All right, let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer. Okay. You're not in your reading, cancer. So this is your person side, and this is the side of this individual that is coming towards your person. Um, this is someone very toxic. This is somebody that could have drug addictions, drinking addictions, but the sex was magnetic with this person. This person is very alluring. They're very irresistible. The way they flirt, they can tempt people. Now, I feel like with divine timing, this person is coming in as a test towards your person. This is someone who is single now. Okay, this is someone that is single now. And I feel like this is someone that doesn't like to be single. They're having anxiety. Um, yeah, with travel here, it, it could be that um, this is somebody that wants to meet up with your person. Uh, they've decided to text your person. I could date you. You know, I could date you full time right now. Um ex-lover and toxic relationship they're going to tell your person all about what happened with that emperor how it was toxic how you know all this other stuff and how they're ready for something new that them and their person have broken up officially okay but i feel like your person knows the truth that it probably the reason for the breakup probably wasn't this emperor's fault because an emperor is loyal solid stable committed right this emperor probably got sick and tired of this person's cheating and toxic behavior. So your person knows the truth. Even though this person may be very good looking or sexually alluring, your person's not stupid, Cancer. You, I mean, this person is going on and on talking about how toxic the emperor is, but your person knows better. Your person knows that, you know they if they choose this person they may regret it because this is somebody that's got very toxic um traits okay uh again they they could be um you know they may have sex addictions drug addictions drinking addictions so let's see here tell me about cancer please tell me about cancer please we've got the six of cups but they've known this person for a long time they have been friends with this person for a long time. This is someone that they have a longer history with than you. That is why this your person is contemplating this. This is not like, I mean, you know, Cancer, you could tell me like, okay, so this person has all this love for me, but then some random person comes in and offers them something and they have to think about it. They shouldn't have to think about it. The answer should be no. And you're correct. You're correct. But this is a little different because... They've known this person for such a long time. With the Two of Swords and the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords, you see what I'm saying, Cancer? You know, this is, your person knows that this person cheats. They know that they're a liar. They, they've seen what this individual is capable of. Tell me about Cancer, please. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Wow. We've got Divine Timing and Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. 
and the seven of wands. Yeah, I feel like cancer, this third party is going to get pushed away because your person knows that with the wheel of fortune in the reverse, it is a bad decision. Page of Wands and the Five of Wands. I feel like this individual is not used to your person telling them no. They're not used to being cut off by your person. They're not used to it. But they're not telling this person about you just yet. I feel like, because you see with the, we've got the High Priestess here with the Queen of Wands and the Sun. This is a secret. You know, this is something that this Queen of Wands, your person should be telling this Queen of Wands that they are with you, but they're not. Tell me about the Six of Cups here and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, I mean, I feel like your person has known this person for a long time. So tell me about the Three of Pentacles here and the Lover's Card. Yeah, they have <coughs> this person that is coming towards your person has been in multiple relationships and cheated with your person. They've cheated with your person. In the past, Cancer, every time this person gets stressed out in their relationship, they go towards your person and have sex. You see? So, and, and your person's like, is that what I really want for my relationship? That every time me and this person argue, I know that they're going to go have sex with someone else because that's their MO. <laughs> that that's what this person does. Anytime there's any type of, um, uh, like anytime there's any type of problems in the connection, that's what this person does, you know? Tell me about the two of swords, please, with the empress. So Cancer, your person is seeing you as an empress. Your person is seeing you as someone that they can have a solid and steady and stable future with. And they know that if they choose this person, this person lies, this person cheats. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. With the Justice card in the reverse, they know that this will not end well if they choose this person. Tell me about the Seven of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Seven of Wands with the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So the problem that your person is going to have here, Cancer, is that there, I don't, I'm not sure that your person's going to tell this person about you. What I think this person's going to do is maybe just not answer or say that they can't right now. And the more that they do that, the more this person is going to cling to your person. With the star card, the death card, and the two of cups, what this third party wants is to be in a relationship with your person because they and the relate their previous relationship ended and this person doesn't like to be alone you know they want to use your person to heal and you know oh and they're going to tell your person memories about the past you know we've known each other for so long it would be great you know between us this the sex is amazing we get along you know a relationship would be amazing so your person is not telling, as far as I can see, your person is not telling this person about you, but they're also not entertaining the option of being with this person, okay? All right, let's take it into the extended. Let's see what's going to happen between your person and this third party. Are they going to tell this third party about you? Are they going to release and block this third party? Are things going to move forward with you? Um, let's see what else is going to happen here. Okay, the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so much and I will see you there. Take care, my loves.